Polygamy is very common in Africa, especially I don't know how about you. Guys, the channel is Future Talks. Kindly, if you have not subscribed to us, kindly subscribe. I want to thank you for your always coming back to the channel and also supporting us. And if you have any support for our channel, can let us know through our DM. Our details are on the about the channel where you can always find us, guys. So today we are going to talk about polygamy. Polygamy is a practice of having multiple spouses at the same time, which can take several forms. In some cultures, it is a, it is traditionally acceptable and uh, it is practiced normally, especially in Africa, uh, like in every five families, you always find that the one is polygamous or the man has more than one wife. And that is a common practice here in Africa. So it is a traditional practice and that is the way Africans believed and a way to get m maybe more kids through different wife wives and uh, so it is very common especially here in Africa and it is generally acceptable. Like in the traditional uh, kind of uh, African family, the people with many wives or who are polygamous who are the ones who are meant to be even the chiefs and also the rulers of that time because it was believed that those people who can manage uh, bigger families they are able also to manage uh, uh, the, the community or the people in a very uh, a good way. So uh, normally it is it's legal, especially in the constitution of Kenya, having more than one wife is, uh, is socially acceptable and also legally binding. So uh, polygamy has various causes. Those include uh, religious beliefs, or one beliefs like uh, in Islam kind of uh, setting they're allowed to marry, I think, up to four wives. So in African traditional kind of practice, uh, unlimited is the number where one can marry as many wives as possible. So uh, uh, through the, like in African setting, if one had a wife and uh, the wife we could not give birth to kids, he was allowed even through, even the other wife could advise, even the family could advise, the man gets a wife who can uh, bear the children for that, for that family. But the, 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 other wife, the first wife is always recognized in that family. So uh, the, the kind of polygamy uh, family has both uh, a positive and also negative kind of uh, uh, connotation also with involvement it has positives and negatives so depending on the kind of individuals individuals involved and uh, their families uh, so one of the significant concerns about polygamy is the potential uh, for unique treatment of spouses with some spouses receiving less attention or resources uh, than others and that is very common even in, uh, in African setting you get like uh, one wife, especially the smaller wife, used to get more favors, even the kids going to school. But uh, the, the, the first wife, the kids and family, also they did not get an opportunity to get uh, uh, to school. So it's a common kind of a thing. So, but from a legal point of view or standpoint, polygamy is not uh, recognized in many countries and often considered a crime. In some cases, polygamy may be legal in a particular jurisdiction, jurisdiction, but it may require specific requirements or conditions to be met, such as obtaining a license or marrying only uh, the consenting adults. So what can cause uh, polygamy? Number one, like I've mentioned, it's about cultural practice. I've mentioned about the culture, especially in Africa. So, uh, in some cultures, polygamy is an uh, acceptable practice and uh, has been part of uh, uh, their traditions and gen in generations. So, these cultural practices may stem from religious beliefs, political and economic reasons, uh, or, or social norms. Number two is about religious beliefs. Some religions be permit or en even encourage polygamy. For example, some Islamic society allow men to have up to four wives, like I've mentioned. While some uh, Mormon groups have practiced polygamy uh, historically, 
So also, so religious beliefs is one of the, the contributing factor to this uh, polygamy thing. Another uh, cause is about personal preferences. Some individuals may choose to practice polygamy because they prefer to have multiple spouses or feel that they are capable of loving and providing for more than one person. Another is about financial reasons. In some cases, polygamy may be seen as a way uh, the family may increase uh, a family income or wealth by sharing resources and uh, responsibilities. Like where you get a family had uh, as uh, in an African setting had a very big uh, maybe a, a shampa or they had a big land. So from tilling of many members, uh, you expect more input to be to be available, so that now production becomes uh, very high to feed the larger family. Social status, polygamy may be seen as a symbol of social status or prestige in some communities. Like I mentioned, like in traditional African society, you could get that a man who with many wives could be recognized as a king or a ruler at that, at that point because of his management skills. He was considered to be a good manager because he could take care of many wives so he can take care of many people in that particular society. So it gives one social status. Demographic imbalance. In a society where there are more women than men, polygamy may be seen as a solution uh, to shortage of eligible uh, partners. So it is essential to note that wild cultural and religious practices may play a significant role in the decision uh, to practice polygamy. It can also be have negative consequences, including unequal treatment of spouses, conflicts, and also social stigma. How do you manage uh, polygamy? Managing polygamous relationships can be challenging and it requires careful consideration of the needs and expectations of all parties involved. But I want to give you some strateg uh, strategies on how to manage uh, polygamous relationships. Number one is about communication. Open and honest communication is essential in, in, in any relationship, uh, whether mono monogamous or polygamous. So, but it is particularly important in polygamous relationships where all, all parties can be encouraged to express their feelings and the concerns to listen to the perspective of others. Clear boundaries. It is important to establish clear boundaries and the rules that all parties are free to follow. This in, may include rules around the time spent with each other's spouse, financial responsibility, and also sexual uh, relationship. Also, respect is very important. All parties involved must respect each other's boundaries feelings and beliefs. The disrespect and disregard for one another's personal feelings uh, or boundaries can lead to conflicts and, difficult, and difficulties in relationships. So such kind of experiences of uh, respect is very important. Fairness is very important, especially from the man who is involved. So it is important to treat all spouses fairly and equally and to avoid favorism or unequal treatment, which can sometimes be very difficult, but it is what it is now. So counseling is also another aspect which can be considered. Uh, polygamous relationships can be complex and may benefit from support from qualified uh, counselor or therapists. Counseling can help all parties involved better understand their feelings and work towards building a stronger uh, relationships. Also very important, last but not least, is about legal consideration in, in the jurisdiction uh, guys that word is hard in uh, way in areas or in the countries where polygamy is Ill illegal or not recognized it is important to consult with their lawyer to understand the legal implication of the relationship and to ensure that all parties involved are protected legally so guys in conclusion managing polygamous uh, relationships requires careful consideration and attention to needs and expectations of all parties involved by communicating openly and also establishing clear boundaries and showing respect and fairness. So it may be possible to build a strong and healthy relationship. However, it is essential to understand that polygamous relationship can be complex and they may benefit from the support of a qualified counselor or the therapist. The therapist. Guys, the channel is Theater Talks. We are talking about matters polygamous. Hope uh, you've learned something from there. Kindly, if you have not subscribed to our channel, I will encourage you to subscribe. My name is Vincent, and the channel is Twitter Talks. Supporters, and also, guys, welcome to our next video. Thank you, guys, very much.